Hey dear loves, I'm Nicole and welcome to our spiritual guidance for April 2018. Quick announcement, our podcast has begun. It is available on all good podcast stations, April 4th at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All of the links for readings and private coaching, master classes, group coaching are down below. And we're going to start with Aries and go right through to Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. Aries, oh my gosh, look at your love life this month. Honey, check in with yourself. You've got to choose, be it your soulmate or your twin flame, and whether or not you want to commit to marriage. You might already be married and you're trying to figure out if you are with your twin flame or your soulmate. But Spirit is asking you to really get clear on what it is you want in your love life. At the end of the month, you've got transformation in your energy. So if you've been fearing commitment, then this energy is asking you to really, again, get clear, check in with yourself, and be able to you know, really communicate that from a place of empowerment. There may be some rough times there as your soulmate stages are intense. They are causing a block from you embracing one another. But also there may be someone else in the picture and so there might be a love triangle there between your twin flame and your soulmate. You might be deciding on who to commit to. And if you're a single Aries and wondering, are you going to get married? Honey, wonder no more because you absolutely are in line to win. This is your new moon. And so this is all about you and what you want to manifest on the 15th. Remember the haziness of communication is there because Mercury is still retrograde. So you get that clarity come back, coming back on your new moon, which is around the 15th, give or take a few days there where you'll feel the intensity of it. Dear Aries, thank you so much. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to check in with yourself so that you can communicate that. Let's talk about your career life. Spirit's telling you right off the top that transformation that has to occur, you're not so comfortable with it. Keep your vision of where you want to be in your life mission, your soul purpose, because right now you're not loving where you're at. Um, you might be struggling financially. You might be struggling with the job and just the stuff that you do. It doesn't mean much. A lot of uh, you Aries out there, beautiful, beautiful spiritual superstars, and you're feeling less attached to the work that you're doing. And you're not willing to stick it out any longer. So you might be up in arms and kind of defensive about it. And because uh, people are not, are not going to always understand where you're coming from. You, you are being guided here to really take a course, an e-course, an online course, go back to school, but to learn what it is spirit needs you to become the expert in. There is going to be a little bit more effort in order for you to reap the rewards, but you're halfway there. Seek out the ones that support you and that have always been there from your childhood. Could be a family member, such as a parent, could be a, a sibling, best friend. But don't be afraid of it being at a standstill because there is a, a lot of moments in April going forward that you're going to have to sit still and be patient. And you want to expand, you want it to grow your career life, you want to be prosperous, you want to thrive. That energy is there, dear Aries. But understand that keeping that vision in your heart and soul because you already feel it, you know it to be true, it is going to take you to really get down and do the detail, minutia, planning, and paperwork, and, uh, you know, um, your split tests and your surveys and testing the market and all of that go back to the drawing board there so that you can be successful um, like it is already in your heart and soul. Dear Aries, thank you so much, honey. Many blessings. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. 
hey Taurus, honey, don't go back to that relationship that's toxic. You already know what it is and Spirit's asking you to reconsider. Honor your intuition, check in with yourself. Whatever is toxic in your love life, whether it be behavior that's coming from you or whether it be a connection with another, it is not meant for you to pursue. Get clear, ground yourself, center yourself, use your I feel statements. See those little baby chicks sitting in your hand and say how you feel. I feel fuzzy, I feel delicate, I feel warm, I feel innocent, I feel precious. And so use those to get in touch with yourself because for you, the Aries new moon is a new beginning to awaken what's in your closet the self-destructive, self-sabotaging energy in your love life, Spirit's asking you to turn a new leaf and to trust your intuition and finally get away from that behavior. It may feel like all hope is lost, but trust in divine timing because just as that not for you, maybe being more physical than emotional, um, more physical than loving energy, more toxic than healthy is not, um, is there, is there. Divine timing is still at play. So trusting your intuition, following that message that Spirit's already been showing you very synchronistically. And it doesn't look like it's something that you readily want to see, but going in faith and starving fear is really the way to go this month. Honey, the Scorpio full moon at the end of the month is all about your marriage, your union, your partnership, and balance and harmony in that. So definitely time for you to honor your intuition. Okay, dear Taurus, remember divine timing is at play. So even in those moments that are low, spirit is still there. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's talk about your career, honey. Things are moving fast in your career. Now there's, there's green pastures, there's good growing energy there. And you've gotta make a choice. I'm pretty hesitant there because something didn't work out in the past. But I really feel like where you stand in April is courageous, it's confident energy, it's take charge energy. And you own it. So you've got the world there, which tells you don't rest on your laurels. So keep going ahead. But there's that lack of hope and lack of faith also. So it's really all encompassing in your career and your love life, but things are coming full circle. So I feel many of you are really going into a spiritual based practice, finally really honoring your spiritual gifts and wanting to go into your life mission. That's excellent because justice is on your side. However, there's a little bit of hesitation in going forward and the hope there is that you can really use what you've already been working on and you don't have to start over completely. Um, and the environment is um, really kind of insecure there, the environment. Don't let that energy fool you. It's the other people, it's the environment that's toxic. It's not you, so don't doubt yourself because you're around doubters or naysayers. That energy can really pull you in. Misery loves company, dear Taurus, but honey, you're to shine. You are on top of your game. So Spirit's telling you at the end of the day, go back to the drawing board because you do have some beautiful ideas, concepts, products, and that you've already been working on, pull them out and start working from there. This is something that you've already been in love with and that you've been thinking about going into for quite some time. Well, things are coming full circle in your career life now. So really work on meditating on the justice and full circle energy that's coming to you because it's time and that will reverse the lack of hope that's showing up here. Taurus, thank you so much, honey. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share our spiritual guidance. I'll see you soon.
Gemini. All right. Definitely spirit is saying release your control over the outcome, the fear that you've been giving to your love life. Learn each other, um, get to know each other, let that person show up how they're gonna show up. Sometimes in committed partnerships, it's, it's important to just say, okay, we'll do it your way and slow down and really enjoy time with each other. This is really speaking towards partnerships and telling them to really spend quality time together um, and be present in that moment. If you're dating, if you're single, you should be dating, okay? This is so clear here. If you're single, definitely open yourself up to dating, but also learn that person and let them show up for how they're gonna show up. Live with that love and that bliss and that joy in your heart and soul and really listen to them and let them listen to you. And, you know, in conversation and behavior, but this is honor those, the muscle spasms, the tension spots, the pain in your body, because there's been uh, too much going on in one area of your life that's caused a uh, imbalance. And also remember that every battle doesn't need to be fought. So coming together is through, okay, how can I bend here? What can we let go of? Can we agree to disagree? This is also when you're dating, if you're single, what is your standard? What is your requirement? What are the boundaries there? And are you going after someone that um, is toxic for you? So really looking at where and how you can compromise in relationship, whether you're single or not, because Gemini, this is all about your, um, also your friends hooking you up this month and um, your group association. Enjoying the moment, spending time with friends and, and loved ones, and really that quality time is important for you. Let's talk about your career. So reflect in meditation because in your career life, there's a lack of hope in where you're going, but you've got a good start there, but you're not too hopeful on, I feel, looks like the success of it. At the end of the day, you've got success sitting under your feet. So there is a long distance opportunity that's coming up. There can be travel, there can be um, a, a job overseas, but definitely look into it. If you haven't been looking global, this is the time to do it. Um, in the past, there has been some um, actions that may come up that you've gotta face some consequences there. But here's the thing, where you're at, you own it, you are thriving, you've got something going on, an idea, um, you're working on something, a project, your connections. There's some good thriving energy and commitment there, um, stability. So really, you know, honoring that opportunity and going with it. But again, with the emperor in reverse, there's really a lack of um, feeling stable and secure and uh, there's a, a tendency to let your ego rule things. Definitely check yourself. Get an accountability partner because with the Five of Swords and the Emperor in Reverse and that lack of hope with the Star Energy in Reverse, there's some ego-related stuff and uh, you're focused on this one path that I feel Spirit's telling you to stay in the past. Reflect on what that path is and why Spirit's telling you it's, it needs to stay in the past. Meditate and listen to what Spirit puts on your soul. You've got deep uh, reflection here, dear Gemini. And the hope is that you know, you'll have another chance. You'll be able to fight for your position, stand your ground, absolutely do that. You've got that energy here but also you're not wanting to commit to do the work that needs to be done. And don't fear what is gonna be delivered to you. 
Hey Cancer, well, in your love life, boy oh boy, kids are involved, self-worth, self-respect, all about unconditional love. Reconsider making that, um, that powerful move in love, reconsider making that decision. You might be deciding to um, break up with someone, you may be deciding to marry someone but there is a major decision that spirit is asking you um to make it may be staying with someone who is really not feeding your values that's not supporting your values or is not a good parent is not a good role model for your kids if that that person may not want kids maybe they've got something going on with their kids and it's going against your value um, they might be saying you know that they can't be with you because um, they need to be with their children's parent, the other parent, or, you know, whatever it is, it's crossing your standards and spirits asking you to really look at that. Also, this is very much whoever you're dating or whoever you're with, for you to be reminded that you are your children's advocate and to speak up for them in your relationship life. So if their needs are not being met, if the other person is not a good person for your kids, then that's telling you right there to reconsider being with that person and continuing to date or even consider them as someone that you want to date or be with. Animals come in and teach us about unconditional love. And so this also is having that love of and for children and it being unconditional and so you know really knowing what your standard and your self-worth is and your boundaries and um, your value system is connected to the children in your life your children the children you're raising um, to reconsider whatever steps you're taking in your romantic love life um, to make sure that you are serving as the advocate to any children in your life as well. And it could very well mean the, that the love of your children. In your career life, dear Cancer, you rock it. You are starting really, really good. Uh, from the start, you've got this beautiful new idea, new project, could be a new promotion, but there is a new clarity in your career life and it's beautiful. Um, there is some um, energy that's subsiding there seems to be a uh, some kind of an awakening that has happened and you cannot avoid it it is something that uh, really was shook you to your core or really pulled you away from really working in your life mission or being successful in your career so there is a little bit of a lack of love for what you just currently are doing or what you just stopped doing like if you have a promotion that last job you just were really detached from it you didn't love it you know now there's an understanding that hey where I'm at right now I know the Sun will rise again and I'm you know I'm more positive but also you are very aware of that awakening that happened. There's a, a tower that came down and um, you may just be trying to avoid the, the consequences of it or the remnants of it because it really did shake up some areas of your life. It just had you kind of in a funk it seems like. But going forward you realize that you control your destiny. Don't fear that someone else is being deceptive um, or dishonest um, their intentions are not right you see it already but you've made your choice to move on and to go in that specific direction in your career life you do hope for it not to be backbreaking for it to be easier and it is going to be at the end of the day you are going to reap your fruit from that harvest it is bountiful and so look at the innocence in your life. You've got the children coming in from your love life. Deepen your spiritual connection and really go into your life mission. Romance 
your career life. Let it be something you love. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leo, welcome. Wow, you've got this major decision to make. And, you know, it's crossing your values and your boundaries. And so how can you compromise? How can you not? Um, where is that balance at? And the children in your life, do you want children? Do you already have children? And this is telling you, you know, spirit is saying, remember that you're the advocate for these babies, that you're the advocate for your own children. And so be with someone that either wants children, that um, can really respect and help you raise uh, your children or that are willing to let you in um, and help them you know with their children and to be a family but it's a major decision and spirit has been pulling you in this direction for quite some time and I really feel like you um, you know you're, you're you feel undervalued you feel devalued and your self-worth is really in question right now. Release the control. Release the need to control the outcome. And um, your control over karmic um, ties here. So be able to negotiate when you need to. But definitely you should not have to compromise your values and your love life. So dear Leo, whatever that choice is that spirit has been pulling you to, it may seem like it's out of your control, but know that spirit is in control. The Most High is in control and God is leading you in a specific direction. Make sure that you focus on what your children need or whether that person wants children or not, or if they have children and you don't want children, you know, check out that situation. What is going against your values here? Honor your self-worth, your boundaries, your values and your standards in relationship. Dear Leo, thank you so much. Let's talk about your career life. Please like, comment, subscribe, share our spiritual guidance. And so for your career life, first of all, stay grounded. Remember why you went into your career. Remember the, just your, let your inner child come out and play because when you come into April, you want it easy and it's gonna be easier if you pay attention to the energy and because you've made a choice already. You absolutely own it with the King of Cups here. This is something that you love and it is easier than what you've done before. But where you're standing, the tower comes down. So there's a shakeup and have hope and you look like you have a lot of good hope. You're hoping on your wishes, your hopes, your dreams are very strong here. Be aware of your tongue and what you do because your actions, I feel you've been fed up with something in your career life and your actions are gonna show it. You're fearing going global or, or relocating or going into this new career, new job. Um, and for most of you, it is overseas, but look into it. Don't just, um, you know, discount it off. Just uh, give your energy to it because the environment um, is really healing. There was some deceptive energy. There was some rocky energy in your career life. Um, and you're hoping for it to just, you know, this option just to come in and say, you know, this is the way it has to be and I don't have a choice, but you're going to have to take a choice here. Um, definitely someone else is there and it could be some illegal or deceptive proceedings there or signatures. Maybe there's forgering, forgery or something like that. But Spirit is saying at the end of the day, pull out what you've already done before, pull out your old ideas, start working on it. You've got your old projects, start finishing them and give them your energy because Spirit is saying ground yourself when you feel that erratic energy here and you'll come out on top.
Dear Leo, thank you so much, honey. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Virgo, look at you. So you know someone is not for you. You know that you're ready to become partnered up. You're ready to be engaged. But Spirit's telling you in those lonely moments, you are not alone. And to really, you know, look out for your kids because you are their advocate. There is someone there that's specifically not for you, be it physical attraction um, and Spirit's reminding you to commit to yourself here. When you feel lonely, call out to the Most High. Call out in prayer. Call out to your angels and your spirit guides. And they're there. So I really do feel many of uh, you dear Virgos that are single are needing to separate and let it be done. Um, and knowing that that person that was in your past is not for you because you're ready for uh, the next phase in your com in your dating life or in your uh, relationship with the new person or in your marriage. Um, and you really are focused on uh, your children and being their advocate. And if you want children, so there might be some domestic um, discussions there, some um, discussions about kids could be with your ex the one that's not for you and you could be learning how to co-parent But when you feel like you're alone, honey be reminded to reach out to the most high because you are absolutely not alone If you're married absolutely Renewing your vows renewing your commitment to each other. Maybe even bringing your um, union more into a family atmosphere and really deepening you know, the connection with your kids. Is it more, um, can you do more as a family? Are you doing everything? You know, you're our workhorse and you're service oriented. So are you doing everything for your family and you can get them involved? There might be someone that comes up out of the woodworks too. Spirit's reminding you who is for you and who is not. Thank you, dear Virgo. Let's check out your career. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Virgo, career, you are rocking it. You start out loving what you do, and guess what? You've got the holy grail, so you're working in your life mission. This is your sole purpose. Don't doubt it. And uh, whatever your vision is there, abstain from all the naysayers and the doubters and uh, keep going and stand your ground in what your vision is and honey where you're standing in april it is stability it is really working from home and that's a beautiful position to be in so if you're doubting working from home don't doubt it go for it um it's pull it's successful for you you see that five of pentacles in reverse that's coming back to you and prosperity and wealth and abundance and uh, there's some work to be done you've got that um, energy that you haven't you're not going to be able to reap the benefits of your reward of your of your hard work just yet don't fear your success don't fear this new beginning that spirit has you going into so there's another wave of your career life, be it um, going for another promotion, a different job, going into a different career. You might be going into a different uh, level of your entrepreneurship, uh, seeking clients or customers. You might be moving from a brick and mortar back to your home office, um, but you're ready. And that energy is take charge and go on and do it. Um, the energy is waiting for you to take that healthy risk and uh, to really, really make it happen here. At the end of the day, please keep your vision very, very clear. Keep it solid. Make sure that you're seeing it every single day, feeding it, nourishing it. Um, at the end of the month, honey, there's an energy there of a lack of commitment to your career life to making it successful don't fear your success you've got to turn it around by keeping your vision close to you 
and away from the naysayers. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your Virgos. Libra, honey, stay away from that toxic relationship. You know, you don't deserve that. And Spirit is telling you to keep on shining bright because that's what you deserve. To shine bright and to commit to yourself first. To really embrace those moments of love and laughter and joy and bliss and being present in the moment while you're enjoying someone else's company and this is whether you're committed or not but be proud of where you come from how far you've come you know allow divine source to shine in your love life and what you say and do and how you're treated because shining bright against that toxic love and that karmic toxicity is really the way to go and commitment you may be uh, committing to a higher love a higher self-worth but this is absolutely telling you to look at your self-value and to commit to your self-love practices before you commit to anyone else so being out there and really enjoying yourself in relationship with another, be it romantic or not, so that you can see the difference between toxic love and healthy love. So again, whether you're single or coupled up here, dear Libra, enjoy those moments of laughter and fun times and really, um, you know, it's okay to just be platonic friends and to, and to learn yourself, you know, learn how you are with relationship before you get back into another one or when you're in a relationship, whether you're married or not, to be able to understand how you really are in platonic bonds, you know, the same sex, to really embrace that side of yourself because it's a beautiful, beautiful new beginning, I feel, for some of you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, dear Libra. And let's go ahead and talk about your career life. So you come into April, many of you, with just a lack of hope, just not feeling as confident. Uh, but you've got some great ideas that you're willing to take action on. And... Um, that's excellent because they worked in the past. Spirit was already showing you that um, you've got a lot of blessings that have happened to you. But now there's some things that have happened more recently that have really shook you. And so you come in, you know, really less confident, more insecure. Um, there could have been um, someone not faithful or disloyal. Um, at really, you know, an embarrassing kind of connection that you needed to really let go of that affected your career life. Uh, but you're, you're hanging back and you're changing your perspective, which is absolutely brilliant. It works for you. And so you know what to do. You're honoring your intuition. The new moon is in your own energy and marriage and unions and partnerships. So you're really seeing what kind of partnership works best for you. And that's beautiful. You're not in any inner outer conflict. You're not in disagreement with anybody. And you're more in harmony. Very much so in the physical. So in your actions, you are in harmony. In your thought, you're pulling back and you're really strategizing here. Don't fear the deception because there is some deception there in your work, in your career. Could be partners that, uh, business partners. But don't fear it because it's time for you to take action. Um, at the end of the day, remember why you're in business, why you're doing what you're doing, why you're going into the line of work you're going into, why you're considering the career that you are. Remember, children have a lot to do with your career life. So whether or not they're your children and you need to make sure they're cared for with the type of work you do, are you gonna work from home? Are you, you know, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, there's some work there for you to feel secure and safe in your job. 
So definitely take care of your confidence in April. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, in those moments of loneliness, you are not alone, honey. You are not a one-man island. You're not a one-woman island, so slow it down. Spend quality time with your partner. Spend quality time with yourself. Those muscle spasms and tension spots really do speak to you, and they're telling you that you're doing too much. Commit to yourself before you commit to the job or to your lover. You've got to take out time for yourself to love on yourself here. Spirit is telling you that you are ready for the next stage in your commitment to another, but to commit to yourself and to really look at how far you've come. Shine bright and allow spirit to shine within you. Um, in those moments that you really do feel uh, less than or you just feel really afraid this is a time for you to call out on your angels your spirit guides call out to God and ask for the comfort that you need in your love life but absolutely stretch your stuff I love this you know Jupiter is in your sign and so you've got that beautiful brilliant peacock energy you know have you seen the male peacock do his dance his dance is amazing and so that's what spirit's telling you to do when you feel you know low and not as confident you've got the full moon this month so this energy is really transformative for you and you are ready to really soar and commit to whatever the next step here is in your relationship life, but commit to yourself first, first so that you know exactly what you want, deserve and desire in your relationships, in your love relationships, whether you're single or coupled up. Spend time with yourself first so that you're loving on yourself. Please like, comment, subscribe and share and let's talk about your career life. Honey, you are the emperor. You're the king. You're the queen. And you love whatever it is you're deciding to go into. Uh, you're defending it. You know, whatever business you have, uh, you're going into your self-employment, your uh, career choice. You're defending it and you have the right to do that. You do feel in charge. You do, it's, it has to be either self-employment, entrepreneurship or a managerial position. And you're finding your way through it and you finally found your way out of feeling stuck and stagnant. In your thought process, there is a need for you to pull back and just escape from the bump in the grind and uh, the day-to-day -day routine, but you're not out for, for long, okay? You're not out for long, and you do have your eye on a specific plan of action, and you're fearing your own success. Dear Scorpio, there's something that's happening that is causing you to face the consequences. There might be taxes. There might be uh, judgment, but... Uh, a lawsuit. There may be uh, something that's happened that comes up legally or financially here. Uh, but stay encouraged because your self-respect, again, we just talked about that in your love life. Spirit's encouraging you to love on yourself and ground yourself. When it does come up, you'll know what to do. It is something you're going to have to face head on. And honey, with this being your full moon, Scorpio, you've got the energy to transform. Honey, you are the phoenix rising. And don't you forget it. You're going to transform from the scorpion to the phoenix to the eagle and to the dove. That is your energy. And so definitely what you create and you what is what you desire and it's what you own, honey. At the end of the day... 
want you to work on your security, your comfort, and your confidence. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, dear Scorpio. Love you. Hey, Sagittarius, look at you in your love life. Okay, so are you fearing this person, this connection, this relationship? Are you fearing that you're ever going to be with your life partner? Well, fear no more because you are, but negative prophecy can manifest. So you've got communication there with another, and it looks like wedding. So please, if you are considering um, marrying or fearing, can I commit to someone? Can I be with just one person? Can I stay married this long? You know, can I have this just one marriage? Can I be just in a partnership, you know, and not desire anybody else? Take a minute, pause, and see where you're at. See how far you've come. Because you've come a long way. Spirit's telling you to shine bright and remind yourself and be proud of yourself. And then speak from that place of self-pride and self-appreciation and have your self-talk moments. Be honest and open and vulnerable and create those moments of vulnerability from those positive self-talks and then communicate your fears and your desires with someone else. Now, whether you're dating or coupled up, your life partnership is in your energy. So you have it to create, to manifest if you want it. But Spirit is asking you, what is it that you are in fear of letting go of when that comes up, fear of what? So look back and really see where Spirit's telling you, be proud of yourself because Spirit's proud of you. God is proud of you. The Most High is proud of you. So you be proud of yourself. Be open to this person um, that is a life partner. Be open to changing, to be with your life partner and be open to seeing your life partner in a changed perspective. Communicate your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, and your fears. And that's keeping it real with yourself and the other person that you're dating or in a relationship with. Your career life. So you start out with a need to uh, have done some, some research and some work that didn't get done. There wasn't a commitment to getting paperwork done, administrative stuff, uh, research, could be uh, homework, uh, could be the fact that you needed to work from home and you work in an office, needed to take work home. But, um, you know, being patient with the process and really meditating to keep yourself grounded, um, and that's focusing on your breath, nothing more but focusing on your breath deepening your connection with our creator that way. There is some work that did not get done and it's been for a while. So that fresh start uh, wasn't a solid foundation. There were some obstacles in the way, but it looks like you, where you stand in April, you know your options and there's no getting around it. And you're in conflict with that and with another. So there can be some discussions there's some verbal sparring matches there. You're at a conflict, you're at a crossroads, um, and you need to really take those blinders off and see that maybe you need to stop traveling and get the work done where you're at in your home office. Maybe you need to stay in, even on the good days when people are calling you out so that you can get work done. Maybe you need to not go out for lunch breaks and kind of work during your lunch. Um, but going forward, there's a there's that deep uh, conversation or comment. So it might be delivered without tact. Uh, someone may some say something to you. You may say you may be the one that says something to someone in your workspace. Um, so just be aware of it. It's a double-edged sword, and the words are definitely coming out. Uh, but and it needs to be said. But there's a, a fear of committing to the process. There's no getting around it this month. Be patient with it. Commit to what you have to do. Spirit's already been showing it to you. 
It is a consequence of not getting the work done before for many Sages. So you can turn it around by focusing on getting it done. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Capricorn, whoa, right? But look at this. You're not alone, even when you feel like you're alone. And some of you feel it very, very deeply. You feel like the one man island. You feel like the one woman island. And some of you are separating and know that it needs to happen. Uh, and some of you are able to see, you know what? I'm over it already. We saw it coming for years and I'm doing it because I'm reuniting with my soulmate. Now, as easily as I can say that, it may not be as easily felt because a separation needed is a serious thing. So many of you could be going through what you see there is a divorce decree document um, being, um, um, being dissolved. So this is something that has not happened overnight. And many of you are going to see this as a blessing in disguise. Maybe you got married too soon. Maybe you got married to the wrong person. Maybe this person wasn't divinely meant. Maybe this is the person that you were supposed to avoid. Uh, but in any case, you've got a soulmate reunion coming in. And you may need it, have needed to separate from before. And now you've reunited with your soulmate. And so that time apart was very minor there was a separation um, that needed to happen in this minor loss but that it wasn't to continue so maybe you got legally separated and you're going back to uh, the love of your life or to your spouse and during that time of separation <clears throat> excuse me spirit is reminding you that capricorn you're not alone and so, honey, reach out to Divine Source in your moments of solace and need. But you got that soulmate reunion on the horizon, and it's going to happen. So this is really, really beautiful. I would love to hear your comments and see what how it plays out for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's talk about your career life. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you come in to April with, you already know the option that you're going to make. Um, there is several that you could have taken. So in your job, you know, in your opportunities, you have chosen. And there is a resistance of going into doing the work that you have to do. There's a resistance, so there could be training, there's a resistance in, I wanna do this, I choose this path, but I've gotta either take this course or I've gotta pay for this certification. But you know what? You've got the number one, the magician here. And that's telling you, dear Capricorn, that you control your destiny, that you're the creator of it, and you know this very well. So you're willing in your energy to really go the distance. So pull that out of you in April. You're sitting on balance and harmony, emotional balance. So that's great. But you are really seeing and feeling that something didn't work out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something didn't work out to begin with. And going forward, there's a resistance in this new beginning. So it's really topsy-turvy for you. I feel like you're getting over, your love life really interfered with your career. Go and have time to really love on yourself. There's loneliness again, self-respect. Um, you're hoping for that conversation and for some news coming your way. There's the soulmate connection that you have, the two of cups. So it's in your environment. You may be meeting someone at your job or in your work that's a soulmate connection. But don't be afraid of the standstill that has to happen. In the standstill of your work, of things not panning out in your career life the way you want to, just go hard and, and, and win, win, win. 
take those moments to really love on yourself more. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, dear Cappies. Many blessings, honey. Aquarius. Oh my gosh. You know who is not for you. And Spirit's already been showing you the behavior within yourself that has to go away. So look at how far you've come. Okay, shine bright. Look at your past as positively as you can because you've got someone coming in. This could very well be you getting out of your own way, <clears throat> excuse me, and allowing someone to come on in and help you honor your own needs. You know, we all need that help sometimes. But this is also telling you to be reminded of the one that is not for you. So if there's someone coming in and kind of, you know, batting their eyes at you or uh, sending you some messages there that uh, Spirit is telling you they're not for you because you've already reconciled with the one you're with or you were going to be with. Um, you can also be guided here not to go back to a toxic relationship and to really decide. This is really spirit asking you to make a choice. But to look at, you know, a healthy selfishness here. Honoring yourself, loving on yourself, putting yourself first, speaking up for yourself, asserting yourself, and uh, really shining in that. You know, and knowing that a physical connection is not for you. Spirit is saying with that energy of not for you, that once you release yourself from the block that you've settled into, then Spirit's going to let someone come right on in and you're going to rekindle. This can be someone new and you're human that is very spiritually known. Could be your twin flame or soulmate. But definitely your key in your love life is to honor your needs. Let's talk about your career life, dear loves. All right, so you come into April owning it. Your energy is the most intelligent energy there is. Be it all air, um, air earth, fire signs. You are it. You are our genius. And you see that here. So be confident in the words you speak. And whatever you communicate, you know it. So know that. You know your stuff. There's also uh, a need for you to go out and do it. So don't fear your own spiritual gifts. You are a light worker. Nourish and, and develop your, your spirituality. Nourish the process. Because you also have a, a lack of faith and uh, you're not hoping for the top and so those hopes your wishes and your dreams really nourish that honey because whatever you've gone through has really taken you um, it's taken a lot out of you where you stand right now is you have the ability to work from home you have the ability to bring your business into your home life and make that stable and secure for your family and justice is on your side, honey. So starting this new beginning in your career is great. I mean, you're sitting on thriving, growing, abundant, wealthy energy. And you fear having to really either put in more of an effort or many of you, I feel, fear your own success. You fear the abundance that's coming to you. Well, that's human energy. That's human conditioning. And so that tower that had to come down, it's hitting you pretty hard. You're hoping for the best and you should. You're hoping that this life mission is successful for you. And honey, there is some work there that needs to be done. You've got to switch your hope around. You've got to switch your confidence around. You've got to know it and see it and become wrapped inside of your vision. You've got to know that you are a light worker. You're spiritually gifted and you're meant to serve in your mission. So change that around and let that 
sun energy of expansion work in your favor dear Aquarius please like comment subscribe and share love you hey dear Pisces Pisces there's a third party in your love life but it can also be you it could be all it could could be your shadow self you know negative prophecies here can manifest please continue to pray in what direction spirit wants you to go in i feel like you come into april pretty fed up with the way things have been going and spirit's telling you look at it slow down spend quality time with yourself if you're single if you're coupled up spend quality time with your partner but what you have been fearing can very well come to pass and there looks like there's some um you're wondering if someone else is in the picture well there is someone else in the picture but even though it is going to play out with some of you dear loves that it's a third party it could be a family member that's just getting a little bit too comfortable getting in your business it could be um, in-laws could be children could be parents could be siblings could be cousins anything could be an ex um, spouse or ex partner something like that but you're in fear of that person taking your place you're in fear of uh, your partner going somewhere else and spirit is telling you it's non-negotiable to spend quality time together continue to pray together um, be okay with the different praying styles and if you're single keep your vibration high but be very clear of what it is you will and will not go for what are you in fear of letting go of and letting go of that um need to be in the relationship even when it's toxic or you know that you're a third party or there's a third party in it can be really hairy but spirit's telling you to really face what you're in fear of letting go and make the choice there whether you're single or coupled up pray to the most high for you to be for you to see your spiritual guidance here okay just remember staying as optimistic and positive as possible but definitely standing your ground and speaking from that place of confidence and empowerment in your career you know that lack of confidence and that fear is seeping in keep your vision this has everything to do with your twin flame it's all encompassing for you in april so many of you are really fed up with your twin flames and um, absolutely that energy can be turned around you've got to focus on what your outcome is you've got to focus on that goal so you could be fed up with not reuniting with your twin flame you could be fed up with the way things are going with your twin flame and spirit's telling you very clearly here that it's affecting the money you're making so you've got to make a choice here there's a lack of commitment and it could be on your part it could be on your partner's part but I feel like most of you it's on your partner's part so you're gonna have to be the one to be in the driver's seat and that's where you stand in April many of you are gonna take control and have that night of earth energy and be stable and secure but that's what you want and so your thought is I'm gonna take this action and you're gonna do it and you're sitting on a really good standpoint to to make things happen but also going forward it's gonna be very important that you escape and you pull back and you go MIA some of you are going to have to show your value in your actions um, remember actions speak louder than words and your twin flame is gonna get that they may not hear you but they will see you and they will respond based on your action so keep your vision high and don't fear things happening so quickly it's going to take off before you know it and uh, looks like that third party is uh, you know it's affecting you so whatever that third party is and how it's showing up for you you're looking for a non-traditional outlet there and a way to get out of the situation but you are definitely going to have to focus on your goal and not focus on the past. 
Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, dear Pisces. Honey, you will get through it. All right, dear loves, raise your vibration and focus on your breath. Repeat after me and become completely wrapped inside of your vision. I am confident. I am confident. In my path, I am empowered. I am empowered in my choices. I am ready for my success. I am independent of all save thee. generous I am generous in self love I am optimistic. I am optimistic. Enthusiastic. I am enthusiastic. 
enthusiastic about my future. Courageous in every step I take and every word I speak. desire loyalty I desire loyalty in all my relationships I create loyalty in all relationships I desire passion I desire passion in my love life and my career life. I create resources
where I stand. I am enough. Many blessings, dear love.